CVHA. And it's got some leak leaks in it. Right now I'm running it. You can see our uh, EVAP pressure is really high. So is our condenser pressure. I'm trying to build some heat up inside the system internally. It's got so much atmosphere in there, uh, the whole system will come up at about 5 PSI. And so that'd be enough to do the leak search. And that's all you can really do on these because they have a, uh, a burst uh, ring in here, a burst plate. And it's set to 15 PSI. And you don't want to get anywhere near that. If you hit that, and that, that thing goes, that's a very expensive uh, repair at that point. But right now, I'm just letting it run for a minute, build some of that heat up in, internally. I'll shut it back down, isolate the chill water valves over there, and then uh, we'll be able to do a, a quick leak search and see what, what leaks we have on this system. So uh, you see a purge unit up there. This is a R11 machine. We found six leaks total. We've got one here, uh, which we ended up sealing this cap up. We had one with the Schrader we replaced, put a new cap on it. That ball valve there was also leaking. Again, sealed the cap on it. This Schrader here was leaking and the cap. Put a new cap on it, a uh, new, new Schrader as well. This cap here was also leaking, along with this one. And this ball valve threads here, so we sealed this cap up. What we're gonna end up doing is this purge unit has got to purge this thing back out. Uh, I'm probably going to give it about a week just to let it sit there and cycle the purge and do what it needs to do. And then after that week's time, we'll come back and, and try to do another startup on it, see if we can keep it online. Right now, if I try to start it up, it just starts surging really quick. It won't stay online long enough. So anyway, guys, appreciate it.